what's going on guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Simpsons Top 10 video. Today guys, this is part 22 of the Springfield Job Update for 2018. And uh, with today guys, we'll be getting all the Act 3 uh, crafting prizes uh, once again inside uh, Plunderous Pete's. Uh, I've made uh, two crafting um, videos uh, on this event already for Act 1 and 2, if you guys want to go check them out. But uh, now it's the final act and we can get all the rest and the last uh, few uh, crafting items. Uh, a few days ago, uh, we started Act 3 and we pretty much finished it. Uh, and all we've got to do now is just get these uh, last uh, few things. And this is, of course, all the uh, crafting items. So the uh, first one here is, of course, the first bank of Springfield, which uh, obviously is an ATM machine, Springfield Bank, uh, Springfield ATM. So let's get it then. I'm sure we can get as many of these as we want. We can just place them around your town. So let's just get this one for an example. So I guess I can just place it in the bonus area. It does, it does earn your bonus if you're uh, wondering. So I've just placed it down, let's have a look uh, what it does when you click on it. So you click on it, uh, the screen turns on for a sec and uh, money flies out. So that's pretty cool, actually it keeps on doing that. Okay, so you, you just tap on it, it's just a repeat of animation which is actually really cool. I'm guessing if you click on it again, it stops. Alright, so that's really cool, I didn't expect that, I thought it would just be a bit rubbish, but it's, it's pretty cool actually, you know, you click on it. It has this uh, repeat of animation, which I'm just going to leave on because, yeah, I really like it, actually. So, uh, okay, let's move on, then. Uh, so, the next one, of course, is the uh, island uh, capital building, which is uh, a pretty big building, it looks like. So, let's rush it, then, for uh, 201 donuts. Wow, that's a, that's a bit pricey. So, let's get this, then. It's a bit weird to have a building in the crafting thing, but whatever. We've got so many buildings in this event there were already. So yeah, it's not as big as I thought it would be. I thought it would be a bit fatter, but anyway, I'm just gonna place it over here for now. I've got a load of uh, random buildings that need decorating over here, so I'll just put it with this pile. So it's a four hour build, that's which is ridiculously annoying, so let's just rush that very quickly. And uh, let's have a look if there's uh, anything to do with it. So is there gonna be any quest? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. So let's have a look at what happens when you uh, click on it. Ooh, I like that. That's really cool. Uh, Burgundy in a foreign language. Uh, it's probably not saying that right. It's every four hours, ninety dollars and ten XP. So that's really nice to uh, get a pretty nice looking building in the crafting. So uh, there's that, so I guess we can move on now. So the next item, or building I should say, is the Resort Hotel, which is uh, pretty crazy to have two buildings inside the crafting. But uh, we'll place this down then. So it's just going to be about the same size, if not even bigger. So yeah, it's the uh, same size actually, just uh, a little bit taller, but uh, yeah, let's just place it down right by it for now. So yeah, that very expected. I thought it was going to be some kind of a four-hour task, uh, four-hour build, I mean. So let's rush that then once again, and uh, let's have a look at it. So, nope, once again, there is no task, so let's have a look what it sounds like. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. It uh, makes a really nice sound, just like the other building. Uh, training in tower folding art, uh, arts every eight hours, uh, $150 and 13 XP. So that's really cool. Uh, they both earn you a really uh, nice uh, amount of money, and you know, they're not. None of them are donuts. Uh, well, I know I just rushed them for donuts, but you know, they're both they're things to craft, which is really nice to actually have buildings like this to uh, you can actually craft. So uh, the next thing in store is, of course, the uh, fancy oval fountain, which I actually do already have. You guys might have already noticed. I got it in my Act Three video, which I uh, went for a few videos ago. Uh, it's down here. It does nothing when you click on it, just to show you. Just, it just basically looks nice. Oh, just actually only tapped on one of them back there. But yeah, it doesn't do anything here. You, if you click on it, it's just there to look nice. Uh, but you can get as many as uh, of them as you want uh, right there. Uh, the next one is, of course, the first Prime Minister of Australia uh, statue, which I believe is Snake, which uh, I also do have placed down somewhere in my town, but it's not here. I've already uh, used it somewhere. So I placed it down in my uh, like prison area, uh, I don't know why, but, well I do know why, just because you know Snake is a jailbird, so I thought maybe it would be uh, cool to actually just place it over here. I mean I might uh, move it a bit later, but I thought just put it here for now, uh, why not? I actually have no idea where else I can actually put it, but uh, there it is, uh, once again just like the other, other decoration, it does nothing when you click on it sadly, but uh, it's, it's pretty cool, you can also buy as many of them as you want as well. Uh, the other one I've got as well is of course the uh, race car statue, uh, which I'll show you now. So uh, here it is, I put it in my like sporty sort of area district, I kind of wish I could put it by my uh, actual go-karts, but it's here by the, uh, by the stadiums. Uh, 
It's pretty nice. Uh, it's it's different. Uh, it's a different size to the actual uh, Duff one right there. I wish it was the same size. It's a bit big. Well, no, it's not big. It's about the real life size too, comparing up to all the characters. But I kind of wish it was the same size as this one down here. But it's pretty cool. Uh, once again, of course, like all the other decorations, uh, or some of them at least, there's nothing when you click on it. But it's cool to look at, and of course, you can buy as many as you want as well. But that's it on that. Uh, the last thing is, of course, the uh, free land token, which I'm just going to get. I've got as m I've got way more um, uh, free land tokens that I actually need, but uh, I'll just have it anyway uh, because why not? And that, guys, was the last and final thing inside of the store at Plunderer's Pete. So that is it then, guys. That is all the crafting for both Act 1, 2, and now 3. You guys can go check out the uh, videos, previous videos, if you want to, to go to check out, uh, you know, what all the uh, other crafting items can do. And yeah, um... That is pretty much it. So, uh, yes, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, let me know what your favorite crafting thing is uh, overall in this event. And, yeah, uh, I plan on making two more uh, videos on this uh, event because it's nearly over now, believe it or not. It's been pretty crazy. It's been such an amazing event, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, the two other videos I'm planning to make, well, my next video is going to be on the uh, the uh, Duffman, uh, sorry, the du the Mexican Duffman uh, character I talked about in the last video, which I was going to make next, but I decided to make my crafting video now because that doesn't come out for the next few days. So, yeah, that video will be up next and the, the last video i'm going to be making on this event is a, a video that i always make at end event at the end of events like this and that is of course just an update review just giving my thoughts and feelings on it overall you guys might already know what my thoughts and feelings on the event overall they're pretty good so yeah let me know guys what you think and um yeah i guess guys i'll see you all in the next one so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all later so yeah guys Goodbye.